Hey friends, this is Brian from Dwarven Volcano Games, and welcome back for another episode of Watch Dogs Legion. In this episode, we make a new friend uh, in trying to take down Nigel Cass. Uh, we also, unfortunately, have to recruit one more person. So, let's see how that goes. What's How are you doing? I hope you don't mind me getting situated in your safe house. Crime marches on, and so will I. There are still cases that need to be closed, if you'll help me. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. I uploaded a case to Bagley. He can brief you on it. Oh no. I uh, probably will at some point, Ken but Kelly's been not sending today. a ton of crypto to an unknown party in Cairo. Something to do with Kronos X. Oh shit, I heard of that dark web designer drug. It's a highly addictive psychotropic with a staggeringly high Oof. fatality rate that stands to make Clan Kelly a lot of money. Yeah, no matter how many bodies they rock up. Well, the phrase Finsbury New Project keeps popping up in their comms if you'd like to take a look into it. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, <laughs> led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. It's shady as shit. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, mm. which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Oof. Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Okay, we can get another one. Let's... Well, considering the fact we're using it currently... Yeah. 
Yeah, considering we're using it currently, let's buy the upgrade. I think that car will do me some good for the short trip. has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Time to introduce ourselves, then. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. My guy is proper paranoid, isn't it? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Ooh. Say no more. Shit! What else can I hack? I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. You think I could get through those windows up top? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Okay, I'm on it. Let's see, where was that window washer? The funny thing is, by the time I finish this mission, I'll probably have my spy back. I think I'll switch around just for fun. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger. 
Major, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. But I need you. <sighs> Love a good. It says most likely less. <laughs> oh. Did not expect that. That's a passive attack? Nice. Then I'm gonna take the shock drone. Oh, I didn't actually want it, but... Perfect. Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, all right. Take it easy. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Please, think more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait, cool it, no man. Albion knows you're in the city. You have to run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, Cass is worse than you know. Shit, Bedrin. We know. <laughs> Why else do you think we come here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is pain. That's how fucking Merck's work. Ch no, you're not listening. We need your help, and we got no love for Cass. Bastard did the bombings and tried to kill us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck. Think, think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Shit! 
just stand there. Albion won't be fussy about who they shoot. <laughs> Do it, hopefully. Suspect is gone. Issue an AP dive. I think all that excitement convinced our new Oof. friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. <coughs> Hey everybody, it seems we had some technical difficulties. Uh, you guys have la lost the last couple minutes. Uh, what happened is we took a mission uh, from our new friend uh, to try and get into um, this tower that Albion is using as their main base. The only way that we can do it is to recruit a Albion guard. And that one right there owns a bar. And she gave us the uh, perfect agent, uh, Albion agent to bring to our cause. So we're about to head over there right now. Wait, let's see, how far is he? Oh, okay, not too far. Sorry about that, guys. I'll definitely uh, check twice next time. Nine nine nine. I just a motorcycle on a path. Okay, he tried to run into my car, run into my motorcycle. We're not. Oh, there we go. Hey. You think about helping the resistance? Oh my god! Are you dead sec? I could pass on our word. You wanna stun? Brill! Well, see, I have a problem with Clan Kelly. Can you help? I'm listening. 
It's really quite awful. My gran rung me the other day, talking about her and her mates being robbed by some gang. I've developed a hack to recover their money, but it's useless without the key to the gang's digital wallet. All right, so we get you the key and you can do your thing. Yes, if you get me the file, I'll be able to retrieve everything those gangsters took. Help me and I'll help you back. All right, we'll look into this. Yeah, this looks like it'll probably be an easy one. Hopefully a lot easier than the last one. Network traffic point. The private key bin on some kind of mobile server. Probably a van in one of their hideouts. Ooh. <sighs> of course. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to take those words of me saying, you know, this looks like it'll be a pretty easy mission and play them back if this is in fact not an easy mission. First I need to find a car or a motorcycle of some sort. <coughs> oh, this will do. I'm definitely glad, though, knowing me, that I didn't turn permadeath on. In case you forgot, the private key you're after is on a server in a van. Say no more. Still need to get that key.
don't know why, but I feel like if I'm not quiet, then the game just knows. I don't need to do these extreme takedowns, but eh, I want to. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is a tech point, though. Oh, I don't have a... Oof. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna make my way to the key for the door. Actually, I hate to say this, but should I try using the... Uh... Ooh. Yeah, until I can uh, hack our take down turrets. Actually, I have 30. Ooh, I could improve my turret. See, but I know I'm going to need the turret hikes, the turret hacks, so might as well.
Oh, that was a curse, wasn't it? Whoops. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> See if the crypto key and it's coming in hot. Bagley? Get us a secure location for the exchange. Tell that hacker to meet me there. Got it. Pushing the coordinates now. That was a close call back there. It was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Still not too bad though. To be fair, I thought it was going to be, you know, like a ser like an actual server I could just hack into with a drone. Nope. It was a <laughs> it was a van.
keep going. You haven't died yet. So guys, uh, I was very wrong about how that was going to go. Uh, check in next time to see how that goes. And let's also see how wrong I was by looking back at some great clips from this episode before we head out. Enjoy! Yeah, this looks like it'll probably be an easy one. It was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Still not too bad though.